sitting just a little over 100 kilometers away from a city of two and a half million people being Rome. That's an incredible earthquake that's going to be uh, felt quite a ways away, and particularly in Rome, where we know at least moderate shaking was felt. Well, good morning. Had of a bit unusual night last night. Woke up about 3.30 in the morning to pretty big earthquake. Um, my first big earthquake, it was pretty nuts. Um, 6.0, 6.2 on the Richter scale. Um, yeah, we didn't even really get the full brunt of it. It was in a smaller town. Um, I'm not really too sure where, but the uh, earthquake, the epicenter, the, it was in central Italy and hit a small town. I'm just trying to read up on it. It's, uh, just, I don't know. That's the information right there. But, uh, Aquita del Troto. I don't know. I'm, I'm butchering these names, but that's basically that's what they got. So I mean, obviously we didn't get anything like that, but I still woke me up out of bed. The excessive shaking and the building was swaying all over the place. I was just like, holy shit, man. Like, I never experienced anything like that before. It's pretty scary. Um, didn't last too, too long, but while it's happening, like, it feels like it's happening longer. And there were some aftershocks. And so Jenny didn't even feel it. Jenny, like, we, my, like, I just woke up. We had some drinks last night. And Jenny was just like, out. She didn't even wake up. And then after it happened, I woke her up because I was like, I don't know if this is like the earthquake or if this is like something that's leading into like a bigger one. So I woke her up just in case we had to like go downstairs or get out of the building or something like that. And then while she was up, we felt another aftershock, um, which was like, I think it was reported there's like 13 aftershocks after the initial quake. And the aftershock that we felt was pretty big. It was probably a... I think it was the biggest one recorded after it was like a five. So that was probably the one that we felt because the building started to sway again. Um, but yeah, I mean, just a crazy, crazy night. Crazy last 24 hours, I think. Like when we were at the castle yesterday, that huge fire that was like um, happening, like all that smoke and everything, it's just, that was crazy. And then last night, like just waking up to that big earthquake, it's just like... It's been, it's been pretty unreal the <laughs> last, last 24 hours here, but this is our last day in Rome, and then we, we're getting on the train and we're heading to Bologna, so hopefully nothing like that happens again while we're here. <laughs> but uh, again, I wanted to stress that we're okay, and, and Rome itself is fine as far as I understand. It's just that small town, unfortunately, had some casualties, and um, it's just really unfortunate for their families and everything so that that sucks that there's people that um had it pretty bad and there's people that died so um just just thankful that we're okay but uh yeah that's enough a uh, little downer information we're gonna go down and get some breakfast and then um pack up and check out and hit the train and head to bologna so uh let's continue the trip really quiet on here. I'm trying not to talk very loud. But we're on the train to Bologna now. Just left the station. It's really quiet. So this particular train is hot for one. But it gets up to 200? 200 kilometers an hour. It's about a two hour train ride from Rome to Bologna where we're going. And we're going to be like
into Bologna. Well, if that wasn't a greeting, I don't know what is. Look at that. Humongous big church bells behind us. It's gone off a couple times since we've been here. Just unpacking and everything. So hopefully it doesn't go off too often because <laughs> this is the balcony right here. They've already gone off in the last 10 minutes. But check this out. This is a little balcony that we got. And that's the tower over there that was making the bell noises. A little nice rooftop and then over here there's like another big I assume church yeah that's a church there's a cross on the top that's a pretty nice view and our other place didn't have a, uh, a patio so that's a bonus so when it's like and it's super hot out just come out here's a little chair we can put out and just sit out here if we're just like exhausted after a long day or maybe before we go out catch some sun just not uh, like the other place that we were in. The Best Western in Rome is like right in the city. This is more like more secluded, nice little, nice cute little room. It's nothing, it's not as fancy as the place that we were in before, but whatever. I mean, after here, we're going to Rimini, which is like on the coast, and that's a nicer hotel that we have there. So this is just a nice little cute place because we're not staying very long here. We're basically using this as like a, a hub to go to Venice, go to Florence. Um, and basically do like major day trips and stuff like that. So we're gonna go out and take a stroll and see what kind of little places around here. Pretty, well, I'm not too hungry actually, but I just had to have a cold shower. Driving, getting here was just like quite the walk and Jenny's wheels were busted on her suitcase, but wouldn't be in a vacation without some little adventures, right? So. <laughs> it's really bad to it. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> no more monkeys. Jumping out of the bed. <laughs> it's really bouncy. <laughs> yeah, you're sleeping on that side. It's gonna be a big dent in the friggin' mattress. <laughs> we were just leaving our hotel that we got to in Bologna to go have dinner, and we just noticed this like little open door to this. Look at this. You can come out here and eat. It's like a pretty awesome view. Yeah, hands down, in my opinion, this is like the best gelato of Nazis we've been in Italy. 
You come to Bologna, come to this place. I don't know how to say it, I'm not even going to try. Jell no, I'm not going to But yeah, this is basically where it is. It's on the street, right by these big ass buildings. And you can see these from like anywhere, so. Just bogart my cone. Yeah. I know, it's good, right? Coffee and cheesecake. Pretty slamming combination. Hey, get that back! And then we found this little supermarket on the side of the road. Oh my god, these are cookies! Man, these look so good. Look at these guys. What the hell are these? I don't know, but they look good. Little chocolate butt. I eat the hell out of that. Yo, Leah. This big ass bottle of Spellagrino is like 59 cents. <laughs> Man, Bologna is like a slamming little town. Like, I thought it was going to be like a quiet little town. They have a buffet in there too. It's like... It's like bars and stuff on every corner. The music was pumping around the around the block. It's definitely a young person's place. Apparently there's like a university here. It's like a big university town. It's like more bumping here than it was in Rome. Day two in Bologna. Just uh, finished a nice little breakfast on our little patio that overlooks the the little town here. You're surrounded by all the little apartment buildings and stuff. It's a pretty cool atmosphere. Maybe I'll film uh, when we eat there tomorrow or something like that. But we're just on our way to the David Bowie Museum right now. <laughs> Apparently, a, Jenny's got her David Bowie shirt on. Look at it. Yep. <laughs> Reminds me of my two favorite things: David Bowie and cats. <laughs> 